There are a lot of things I'm going to try and cover in this video. Not this cayenne pepper, but that's kind of a nice little distraction in the background. I've got three watermelon plants that I've been growing inside and getting them some sun exposure during the day. The last couple nights, I've left them out overnight. And today, we're going to transplant them. This is the target location. And this tomato cage is going to be my trellis. And I have been working on getting this soil into shape for this transplant for quite a while. This base, last year, I grew beans in it. And let's just say that it was mostly wood chips. And there was a lot of yellow leaves, all kinds of things like that. And I've been working on preventing that, or at least trying to elevate that by adding worm castings in berry tone as well as garden tone. I'll have links in the description for all those things. And coming up next, we are gonna transplant these. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some sifted miracle Grow raised bed, organic of course, in there so we've got some rich loamy soil. Watermelon likes rich loamy soil. This is my sifter, links in the description of the video. And of course, there we go. Got quite a nice little mix there. It definitely adds some richness to this soil. So far, I've added a bunch of berry tone, a bunch of worm castings, and some soil from the bucket, just like this. And now, coming up next, you're gonna see what these things look like planted in this dirt. This is a look at the first one that we've got in there. It was the smallest, and it looks like the leaves are a touch yellower than the other two. So I wanted this to get more south-facing sun, and I didn't want to put the taller ones on the other side of this and create a shadow. Do not want to do that, and coming up next, you'll see the other ones in the ground. This is what the second one looks like, and I've kind of been centering things organizing them around these pins of the tomato cage, watermelon cage in this instance. And the next one, the biggest one, is going to be planted next. This one has the substantial root system looking good. I'm glad we're doing this now because I think this thing could get really, really substantial. To help reduce transplant shock, we're going to water them and I put a pretty mild liquid fertilizer, fermented liquid fertilizer, check the link in the description for that, along with worm tea to help make that fertilizer that much more potent and help make sure we have all the right enzymes in our container because frankly, container soil is pretty dead as far as the biology goes and we need to supplement that and we're gonna do some watering next. Making sure we have nice amounts of water all over because containers dry out really fast and watermelon needs water. We are all nice and watered in now. And I'm gonna come back without the worm castings or the fertilizer in the water and I'm gonna wash that off the leaves. A little bit of the worm castings tea is helpful. I'm not sure what the fertilizer would do and you also don't want the foliage foliage, whatever you want to call that, on these watermelon plants to be wet. Ideally, you'd plant just from the roots, but I did not want to leave any dry pockets in the soil when we did this to reduce transplant shock. So I'm going to do that off camera. Guys, I hope you got some value out of this video. Like it if you did. Leave a comment. And if you got any questions at all, I'm going to keep tracking this progress throughout the summer. And check my Facebook page. I hope to keep nice updates for that as well. With all that being said, we are out.